Hello, and welcome to a Friday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword, and the last crossword of the year. Uh, so if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll do a, a little retrospective on doing a year of crosswords on video. I'll tell you my favorite crossword puzzles of the year. Um, but yeah, it is currently 9.59 p.m. on Thursday, December 30th in New York City, meaning one minute until the Friday crosswords. Taking a look at yesterday's leaderboard, we had a three-way tie for first between Aerotangos, Stickers, and Rudwick. Shout out to you. Big shout out to Aerotangos. Then we had me, followed by, or tied with the Glorp, followed by Earl, Joe Obi, Kimball, Hoopla, all 30 seconds or under. Right after that, we had Chenny, KF Esventa, Gordo Am, Bill Boris, Marks, Ruthann, Intarotuna, To Nomad, Lil Sun, Tim, Phil, Cape God, and Jay Wu under one minute. Then we had M Heat 17 and Ball Don't Lie. All right, well, it is now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Friday crosswords. So here is your spoiler alert for the Friday mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Scarf, Scott's, uh, Rina, Rager, Flats, Comet. There we go. And in the year, sub 10. Uh, hopefully, Aero Tango sent me a text taunting me uh, when she beat me. So, yeah. Omega, Tenet. Haven't seen Tenet yet, the Christopher Nolan movie. And Stars. Nice. But now for the main event, that's the Friday Daily Grid, which is by Megan Morris today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, last puzzle of the year. Let's get into it. Colorful custardy confection. Snap. Component of three of the fr French, five French mother, mother sauces. Uh, yolk, maybe? Oh, uh, this seems like it's going to be Oxo. So, Rue? That's never going to happen. Double or triple drink. Ale? IPA? Actress Taylor? Agatha Christie novel, named after Death's Mount in Revelation. Uh, make blank four. Danger for desert hikers. Is it heat exhaustion? <laughs> Ending with four or six, but not five. Waltz onomatopoeia. Oh, it's oompa ba. Right? Uh, fifth, sixth, and fourths. Classic diner orders. Love. Terry. It's supposed to be Terry Gar, right? Sudden inspirations. Does laundry or pays a bill in modern lingo? Adults? Is that really what that is? Clear-headed. Novel content. This is adore, sir, surely. Tell. Apply. Rub on or rub in. Pit blank. More might come before it. Or less, I see. Pros here. Thing with rings. Tree. Sober and gasps. Its employees might get under your skin. Legal action. Proficient, maybe able. Blank me. Request to a fridge girl. Beer me. That's kind of fun. Group portrayed in slacker and reality bites familiarly. One quadrillion prefix. Oh gosh. It's not mega or giga. So it's terra, modern era. Something review. Okay, some Disney-inspired Halloween costumes. I really want to put Elsa's, but these are R's, I think. There's three R's in horrors. Straighten a line. Maybe it is Elsa's. Couldn't let go of. Like blue and green ski trails vis-a-vis -vis black diamonds easier. Pep. Vivim Rosso o Bianco. Vino. Driver's license fig. And Renpair Concession. Mead. One of the Blues Brothers. I don't know. Looks the other way. Oh. Let's things... Let's things slide. So it's not Terra, huh? Pita? 
Okay. A blank place in this is in the House and in the Senate. A woman's place. A danger for desert hikers. Okay. Sharon's, Sharon's predecessor as Israeli PM. Target aim at relative by marriage. Anna Kendrick ID number. Obsessed over? Not sure about the preposition there. One of the Cohen brothers. Oh god, one of them is Ethan, right? Spurns inside the NBA commentary here. Smith? Kenny? The Jet Smith? It's not Shaq or it could be Ernie. This is Eric uh, Young, right? Crushes it. I always think that it's maybe a K, but I think it's a C. Relative by marriage. Where to to do as others do in Rome. So it's not Smith. Stain, sprinkling, have no blank of perfection. Suffix with towelette, melancholy axe list. Ken competitor. It's not Nikon or Ryko or Sony. Street featured in La Dolce Vida. A Traviata, is that right? Still sticky. Dicey? Crushes it. Makes make thin. Eponym. Maze, right? Let's go with dicey here. Squarish. Couple in the back of a car. Dictionary abbreviation. Rio de la Blanc. This is Elwood, I guess, and Laud. Okay, let's go through the downs at the top here. Snap. Um, no. It is IPA. Fruit tart. Uh, what is this? Is it not fruit tart? Tuna, fo oh, photo. Tuna melts. Something horse. Make a plan for? Rattlesnake nest? It's probably not Traviata, huh? I'm not sure it's not, but it doesn't seem like it is. Pit to Pat? The pale horse? A plan? I think that's what it is. Maybe. Appeal here, peer review. Group portrayed in sla Slacker and Reality Bites. Familiarly. Uh, scan Lab? No. Okay. United competitor TWA. Is it Barack? Ehud Barack. This is latent, spurns, and right. I should figure this out. This is stepdad. This is blot. Uh, Rapanui. Rear tires, interesting. This is plata, make thin. Attenuate. Oh, this is bite. Via Venita. Uh, oh man, woes here. Vin do and. Is it do? Fear. Few. Leica, maybe. But. It seems like it'll end in an S. O'Neill. Oh, it's not dicey. So I don't think Shaq has been there for a long time. This is Joel. Blocky. Slays. Okay. Tacky. Jilts. Okay. Seems like it'll be an R, doesn't it? Uh, 
under your skin. Huh? What's this? Hmm. So just these two. <laughs> Let's check all the crosses on this. Familiarly, the purrs. I have no idea what this could be. Okay, let's try an R there. And just try every letter here. This doesn't seem right. I feel like something else is wrong. We're really gonna end the year running the alphabet. Oh, that's not it though. I think this could also be wrong, I guess. Huh. Okay, I need to figure this out, I guess. Under your skin. Oh, it's, it's X-Ray Lab. It's a play for. Okay. Oh, gosh. Xers, Gen Xers. That, okay. All right, well, we made it through the year. <laughs> we did every puzzle this year without checking. We did run the alphabet a couple of times, but make a play for. You know, a plan kind of works, except it doesn't work with this cross. Crossing a pat, too. Yeah. It's not the most aesthetically beautiful section of a puzzle I've ever seen. A pat crossing a play. But, reasonable. Yeah, these things clued as like the third definition. Tuna melts and oompapa, I like. Yeah, pit a pat. Yeah. A pat is not great, Phil. It's not a great clue. More or less, I think, is also not great. The clue is kind of nice, but this is a six-letter partial, which you think they say to, to avoid. But, you know, all rules are sort of, if they like the puzzle enough, they let it slide, which is nice. Let things slide is a nice marquee grid spanner in the middle. A lot of names up in here. Anna, Barack, Elwood, Joel in a row. Not my favorite. Too many proper nouns is... You risk it becoming too much of a trivia test. In Rome is also kind of a six-letter partial, I think. Yeah, like if you just have, you know... A sprinkling of good qualities, you have a few. Via Venito. The Venetian road is presumably what that means. Huh, there's some in... There's a restaurant in... New York. It's one of the most... Via Vittorio Venito. One of the most famous, elegant, and expensive streets of Rome, Italy. Named after the Battle of Vittorio Venito. La Dolce Vita. There you go. Never seen that. Yeah, this stack in the middle, or at the bottom, is not super duper inspiring. Yeah, photo. I like Umno. Didn't know Tamara Taylor. Or the Pale Horse. Interesting clue, but pretty bad. Phil, we've got Terry Gar in the last puzzle of the year, but I guess that's more names. Obsessed over is pretty nice. What a clue for Gen Xers. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of kind of not that great short fill, but it's clued reasonably nicely.
Yeah, how long has Shaq been? I feel like Shaq has not been there a long time. Like, oh, maybe, maybe it's going on eight years now or something. Oh no, it's going on 10 years. I guess that counts as a long time. But it's been running for so long. I think of long time as just Charles, Kenny, and Ernie Johnson. This means River of Silver, right? Yeah. The Plata River. There it is. Yeah, I guess it's Willie Mays. Rapanui, yeah. This all the short stuff is kinda junky here. And I, I don't know if the um if the long stuff is flashy enough to let let it, let things slide is pretty nice, but to me this uh this doesn't have quite the same polish as I would want on a on a Friday themeless grid, but yeah, let's focus on the positives. Let things slide as night. I like tuna melts. I like umpapa. And the cluing is pretty good. Cluing is pretty good. So some stats. Actually, uh, let me show you stats at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year, but let's first check the leaderboard. We've got KFS Venta on this last mini of the year. Right. Cool. Yeah, so this concludes my New Year's resolution from 2021 to solve the New York Times crossword puzzle on video every day. Glad I did it. Uh, had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I guess, uh, yeah, started with no subscribers and now at over 300 call it one a day that's pretty good <laughs> i'm not looking to become youtube famous uh we had some some constructors in the comments over the year we had stephen mccarthy freddie chang david c duncan decker so getting some some watches from the crossword community learned a lot about crosswords this year uh i beat pb geckner like 340 times <laughs> I learned a lot about videos and video editing and audio. Uh, and now let me just show you the stats for the year. So okay, the, the earliest stats I grabbed were from a video on like January 5th or something. But this year I solved over 1600 puzzles, which I think is too many. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Liz though, who solved, I think much more than that. Liz, comment down below with how many puzzles you solved this year. Uh, Right, so my stats here in January, and then here are my stats as of yesterday. So I think uh, I set a new personal best on every day of the week this year. Um, and the personal best is like 40 to 50% faster than the PB at the beginning of the year. And my averages went down like 30% every day. Of course, like most of these solves were done on a phone which admittedly does take a little bit longer. And I, most of them were done for pleasure rather than speed. Uh, but I think I, got, I think I got better at crosswords this year. Hopefully in watching, you also got better, got more interested, or just, just enjoyed the videos. Um, and I thought I'd talk about my favorite puzzles of the year. Uh, so I think thinking back, my favorite themed puzzles of the year were both Thursday puzzles. Uh, one of them was um, the one, oh, should I not, let me not say the theme. Yeah, let me not say the theme. Let me just tell you, there, there are links below. Uh, one of them was by Tom McCoy, and one of them was by Jem Birch. They were both Thursday puzzles sometime in March and April. I'll have a link down below. Uh, my favorite themeless puzzles of the year were pretty much everything constructed by Nam Jin Yoon and Robin Weintraub. So always look forward to seeing their bylines. Um, yeah, so there'll be links in the description below for those videos, which also have links to the puzzles. As for far as next year, I plan to continue doing the puzzle every day. Uh, <laughs> I plan to do as many of them on video uh, as I can, but if it's like 2 a.m. and I want to go to sleep and just do the puzzle in the morning, 
then I won't record a video. If I'm traveling, if I'm at a conference or something, I'm just not gonna worry about it. So I might miss a, miss a day here or there. I also probably won't try really hard to do it right when it comes out, like I've been trying to do all year. Um, which means maybe I won't do mini shoutouts because normally I have to grab those right before. Yeah, but if you've been watching all year, thanks. I'll keep the videos coming. Uh, yeah, it, it was a lovely year. And tomorrow I'll be posting the first video of 2022 from Aero Tangos' parents' house, which is also the location of the first video on this YouTube channel. Right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you next year for the Saturday puzzle, January 1st, 2022. Happy New Year, everybody.